Let hit fishing. Hello, this is Captain Wayne. Today we're going to go outside and shoot a video of a boat that we're going to do a complete rehab on. The boat needs a complete rehaul, uh, rehab, the floor is rotted out, the uh, engine needs some work and needs gauges and everything. And right now there's about six inches of snow on the ground and it's about 10 degrees outside. So we're just going to go out and take a look at it. And uh, this video will go in the archives and possibly be put on YouTube. So. We'll see what we can get going and then eventually we'll start doing videos of the uh, painting of the boat and then some actual fishing. So, talk to you soon. Okay, here we are outside at the uh, my boat that we're working on, 17 foot cruise craft. Um, got some opportunity to pick up a, a, a boat that's you know in need of rehab and uh, the floor is pretty rotten. I came out here and ripped the floor out and uh, had to wait for good weather because of the way the floor was, I wanted to do it a certain way, get wood for the stringers and wood for the floor and fiberglass and resin and uh, fleece blankets and everything to, you know, to do it right. So, and economically, when I'm not working on a boat, I take a simple tarp, cover it up. Um, make sure there's no holes in your tarp. Mine had holes in it after a while and starts leaking. So, and that doesn't work well with your fiberglass. So, but anyway, you run through a couple little problems, nothing major and then you just do the best you can. Got my little work area prepped together. Got my saw horses out. Got the boat sitting there in the little tent. And I'm ready to get in there and rock and roll. And this is the flooring that's gonna go on the boat. Had the stringers cut last night. Went by pretty quick. I think it fits perfectly now. So I'm gonna take these uh, boards out and get ready to start measuring and cutting the flooring. And uh, soon the fiberglass those stringers in. My floor is still a little bit higher than the original floor was. It's uh, about a good half inch on one side, an inch on the other. So I'm just gonna leave it all even. Right now I'm at six and the eighth on my stringer, so I'm gonna leave it that high. I'm gonna totally remove the excess fiberglass out of the corners there of the, uh, the stern. I'm gonna cut all that out and I'll probably tab in some uh, one buys or something in there. The, probably the excess that I cut off of the stringers. Push that in there pretty good so that the edge of the floor have something to support it on the uh, fiberglass hull. As you can see, I'm gonna make my bilge a little bit bigger than what was in here. The original bilge was only about 19 inches wide. I'm going 31 inches. And uh, once again, I'm cutting them out of the bilge, totally rebuild it. The transom is in decent shape. Um, the only thing I see is a lot of silicone around the screws, the screw heads, the bolt heads, and toward the drain flow, there's a whole lot of silicone down there. So that poses another problem. Um, the wood in the uh, transom is 70, 1975 wood, so I'm pretty sure it's kind of got its 
rot going on, but I'm not going to take the transom off and rebuild it. I'm just going to add another piece of wood across the transom to support it and probably throw a couple smaller screws in there to just bite enough of the uh, fiberglass or the original transom. And I'm going to fiberglass it up pretty good, so I'm going to totally rebuild this whole bilge area back here from one corner to the other. Cut all the old fiberglass off the edges close to the uh, hull itself and uh, my floorboard should fit on there nicely but like I said I think I'm gonna slide a piece of one by or something probably some scraps from the uh, stringer up in the corners to support the uh, edges of the floorboards so getting ready to get into it just was in here taking some measurements and uh, now that I can see a little bit more daylight I can see that there's a whole lot of silicone in there so that could pose a problem but we'll see here we are inside the boat we're at the bow the front end of the boat and run into a couple problems first of all up front uh, the boat is a little crooked if you can see from the video the left side of the fiberglass is a little higher than the right side so I'm gonna have to compensate for that when I put the floor in the stringers don't quite go all the way up uh, the ones I took out didn't go all the way up either but I think I'm gonna uh, leave it like that and uh, probably put a crossbar across the bow from the right side to the left side to support the floor a little bit more. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, so that's one problem. The boat is a little crooked. When I was grinding yesterday, um, there's fiberglass on top of rotten wood. I'm actually going to leave that because that wood acts as a support for the fiberglass, the frame of the hole. So I'm going to leave that, just make sure that I kick the fiberglass in there pretty good and some matting off across in there. <sighs> okay, here's what we got so far. Got the, uh, the uh, stern, grind it down pretty good now. Uh, clean the whole back wall, the transom of the stern. Cut out those extra pieces of fiberglass. So now what we're getting ready to do is uh, put the stringers in, line everything up and uh, start cutting fiberglass to match up to the bulkheads, the uh, transom and the, the walls on the port and starboard side. So, and uh, we'll see how it looks from there. And once I get everything lined up, then we'll uh, go ahead and fiberglass it in. All right, here we are looking at the boat. See some of the blankets have moved. These are fleece blankets that we use instead of a whole bunch of fiberglass chop strand or 17 or eight. So we use some of this fleece blanket. Uh, it's fiberglass uh, chop strand on the bottom, fiberglass resin, and then I put the blankets on top. Blankets got soaked from all the rain, got dirty from all the wind. So what we're gonna do is just try to clean this stuff all up, level these blankets out, even them out, and then uh, get ready to start cutting them in with the uh, fiberglass resin to cover up the stringers on the edges make it nice and secure to the uh, hull and got all my tools right here so we'll go ahead and get started all right here we are in the uh, boat and uh, still trying to get the fiberglass laid out um, last time I talked to you guys I was fixing the stringers cutting the boards I got the boards in the floorboards in uh, my calculations was off so I had to piece together a couple edges in the bow uh, then I went and got my fleece blankets and some uh, chopped strand that's really difficult to get up under about eight inches of space and try to pour fiberglass and spread it out so I didn't record that part of it because it was pretty painful I was like fussing and cussing and carrying on up under there and I got fiberglass all on my hand my jacket my arm just trying to get the fiberglass spread it out and get the uh, the uh, fleece blankets laid out perfectly.
okay, we'll be back after we fix this issue. Hello everyone, this is Wayne with Black Tip Fishing Adventures. It's not cold, it's not too windy, and uh, did a little bit of cutting yesterday with my neighbor, uh, cutting the floorboards out for the boat. Got the stringers all in, and the uh, floorboards came out pretty good. A um, couple pieces are too big, so I'm gonna have to trim some of the edges off. And uh, you gotta be real careful when you're cutting the floorboards that you get your measurements perfectly. Square things up when it starts large and then end up small and kind of a, a rectangular, irregular rectangular form is the proper term. And um, so we got those boards cut. A couple of them are too big, so we're gonna trim them off and dry fit them again. And once they're dry fit, we're gonna go pick up some more fiberglass resin and uh, lay our fleece blankets down on top, fiberglass the entire thing, and we'll be done with our floors. So I'll take you out now, show you the boat, and we can go from there. So there's my makeshift fiberglass roller. Interesting story on that. The fiberglass resin will destroy most rollers like just totally eat it up make it fall apart so I got one of those foam rollers a little one probably about four inches and I ran it through uh, the first layer of fiberglass and it just did not work right it wouldn't roll correctly it was pulling the fleece blankets up pulling the chop strand up so what I did I had to let it harden once it hardened and I use it to roll it out it works well so right now it's in hardened state but you can just use it over and over. Just once it hardens, just kind of give it a twist to break it off the, uh, the actual shaft that the roller sits on. So, but it works out well. So uh, that plus the little putty knife over there, a little spreader, that works good. Those little chip brushes, they work good on certain applications, but uh, the best thing that I've learned is to wet the surface with fiberglass resin first before you put your chop strand down and before you put your fleece blankets down. Got the fleece blankets going up the wall so I can pull them over the edges of the boards. That should fit nicely. Cut my bilge out last night. Got a pretty wide bilge. I figured I wanted to do something wide because of how big the boat is. And I still have the door for that bilge that I'll um, put in later on after we dry fit everything and get it nice and snug. So the second panel came out nice. It's just probably a half an inch too short or too narrow over against the sides over there not a big deal could take some uh, extra wood strips and uh, wedge them down in there shimmy them in there between the hole and the floor and back there is nice and snug so right here I have a little spot right there where these two boards meet at that's uh, probably a half an inch too short this third board here going up toward the bow uh, the back side of it started out perfectly but it narrows too slowly uh, it's still too wide right up under the uh, sitting area so what I have to do is take this board out trim it off a little bit probably have to dry fit it two or three more times and then put it back in there and then I'll get up under here sorry the camera's gonna turn a little bit but right up under there is the very tip of the bow uh, that's probably a foot and a half of wood that I have to put in there and that will be that triangle piece right there which is way too big uh, my neighbor and I were out here working on it last night and he actually cut it uh, using his mathematical computations and it was too big so not a big deal I'd rather be too big than too small so all we have to do is trim that off a little bit and get that up in there and then once everything's dry fitted we pull it back out um, see if there's anything else that needs to be done put it all back in screw it down and then uh, fiberglass everything in but here we go here that's the i used to call it a bathtub area that's where the uh the people who are sitting up in the bow will have their feet on the floor there i raised that floor up about three or four inches and i'm not putting the bathtub piece in there i think it'd be better just leaving it open and i'll put some trim around the edge of it so no one gets cut but trying to reach up under there i mean there's literally between six and eight inches of space and trying to spread that fiberglass pour it then spread spread it out was really difficult the uh, fleece blankets was sticking to my arm and my fingers on the gloves and it was just a monstrous time so right now I got the blankets laid out uh, this that first section right there is uh, pretty much tacked down but I haven't put any more fiberglass on top of it to soak through yet and I think I'm just roll it all the way out all the way across 
and then come back and do the next section down here this is about four feet long and about five feet wide a little more than four feet long so that actually should work out but i wanted to do a dry fit to see how that was going to pan out so yeah basically my floor is going to be black and fiberglass is going to have a funny looking shine to it so that'll be my floor i'm not planning on painting the floor at all depending on how slippery or how slick it is if it's too slick then i'll sand it down or put some uh, non-skip skid strips in there but right now it looks pretty good um i put some chop strain in the gaps down here as you can see because uh my measurements were a little bit off so i put wood down in there wood strips lay some chop strain in there so i'm going to probably lose about a quart of fiberglass just in these cracks alone but I'm going to wet the whole board, roll out the uh, the um, fleece blankets, and we should be done. I got chop strand going up the transom in the back back there, and I'm going to run fleece blankets on top of that. It's to kind of add a little bit more strength to the, um, the transom. I went ahead and cut a half inch hole in my board and through the bulkhead of the bilge to run my bilge pump pipe through. And... Um, that was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be but you know I just figured you know I might as well just go ahead and do it and secure it in there I don't plan on losing or changing the pump or I mean the uh, hose out no time soon so I went ahead and got that in there it's pretty tight and snug up against the wall there and on this side so just the left side of the boat is what I have a problem with there are some more of the fleece blankets that's what I'm getting ready to dry fit everything make sure I have enough I got a pretty wide bilge I don't think anybody needs to do it that wide mine was uh originally this wide and i uh, talked to a couple professionals they say you don't really need it that wide but this 17 foot boat six feet wide so i figure i'll go ahead and put the same size bilge back in there and uh, i'll mount the bilge pump in there make it look all nice and pretty and the one thing that i will do i'm going to paint the bilge because as you see my uh pattern on my fleece blankets doesn't match one another because I was just trying to pretty much get it up there. I got chop strand on the wall, then I got fleece blankets on it to reinforce the uh, transom, make it a little bit sturdier. Um, I re-tapped out the drain hole down there. Got fleece blankets on the keel or the hull all the way down in the bottom. Tap that all in. It holds water perfectly. There is no leaks in here at all. The only water comes out is through the drain hose, so that's pretty good. I put these little lips in here kind of a makeshift bracket so when I put the lid back on the bilge itself it won't fall all the way through so that's why I added those little lips I don't care if it sinks down a little bit because nobody's gonna be back here I'm gonna probably put a bench a little bit away from there so that way if I need to get to the bilge I can have like a little access panel or hatch to get back to it so I'm ready to finish fiberglassing just wanted you guys to get a look at what I got going on here floor should look, look pretty nice once I fiberglass everything in so I'll show you guys the finished product in a little bit about uh, four fleece blankets fiberglass resin on top of chop strand and extra chop strand and uh, fleece blankets on the seams or the joints where the boards come together the floorboards come together right up under there is yeah, pointed a bow under the seating area, had to put some uh, expandable foam, that great stuff in there. Really had a difficult time pouring fiberglass resin up in, in that area. So um, after I got the resin hardened and the uh, blankets nice and neat, as even as I can get them basically, I uh, sprayed some great stuff in there and used a pair of rubber gloves and my hand basically to kind of flatten it and fill in any gaps that I could feel around the edges and the sides. So pretty confident with that, happy with that. So then as I work my way back, um, once again got a uh, chop strand down in the edges between the floorboards and the bulkhead or the walls. And then I have fleece blankets also <clears throat> in those uh, gaps. Put a ton of fiberglass resin in the gaps around the bulkhead and the, and the uh, edges. Let that harden or set up and then I stretch the blankets out across the floor brush them all hard time had to make myself a little tent here you can see the cover up here made myself a little tent to 
try to keep all the debris from the wind blowing around whipping up stuff out of the yard and out of the trees so what I did I uh, put the tent together and then I put the blankets down on top of the fiberglass resin stretched them out pretty nice it wasn't difficult at all hardest part is getting up under the little corners and getting the uh, chop strand and fleece blankets to lay up against the wall and uh, pour resin on it because really don't have much room probably got about six inches up under there maybe less and it was really difficult to do that so I do that on both sides of the bilge as well as up under the, the in the uh, bow area so after we got all that done fiberglass the floors and sections and just work my way all the way through I underestimated the total project um, by about two gallons of fiberglass resin all in all I have about eight gallons of resin invested in this boat right now and that's just on the floor I have one gallon left over so seven gallons of resin on the floor between the uh, stringers the actual hull itself the stringers and the floorboards and all the joints I got about eight gallons of fiberglass resin I have another gallon left over out of that eight so I used seven on the boat so far I got one gallon left over I'm gonna use that to go around the perimeter of the boat on the outside and patch up any cracks and holes or anything that I may see around the perimeter and to uh, dress up my dash a little bit close off the switch panel that was right there no longer have that I'm actually gonna make something really cool to go up there I got some little buttons I actually got buttons from China so because you go on eBay you don't find many uh, useful items like that from made in America but I got a couple from China so I'll put those things in and dress it up pretty nice so this is what we got so far looks good floor is nice and hard I'll get in there and start painting the bulkheads now what I'm gonna do is uh, paint the bulkheads between the, uh, the gun wall and the floor I'm gonna paint that all black all the way around so it matches the floor pretty nice and then once that's done then I'll start working on the regular walls and gunnel in the uh, rest of the boat so can't wait I'm making a lot of progress and then I'm getting a custom made windshield for both sides my neighbor actually we're looking at a buddy of his he has a boat that uh, is about 15 foot and they uh, pretty much did the same thing. I gave them the recommendation recommendations for the fleece blankets and fiberglass resin. They put that down in that guy's boat, uh, Sean. And it looks pretty good. And then they went out and bought some plexiglass and custom made his windshield. So I think we're going to do the very same thing in here. But before we get to that point, I need to go get my paint, mix up my paint, and start painting my bulkheads. So. Oh yeah, and I'm going to paint the uh, bills today.